If you're not creating conversations, you're not sharing stories. Arrow.net, A-R-R-O-E.net. All right, let's do it. Let's play it forward. These are real people, real stories. The struggle to play it forward. Episode number 414 is with Doris Kearns Goodwin from Lincoln on the History Channel. I'm doing good. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. I am so glad that you have done this with Abraham Lincoln because as much as we think we know of this man, you, you, you're you showing us that, no, we really don't know his deep inside. I'd like to believe that that's true. I mean, he's such an important figure for us to understand because... You know, understanding who he is, I think, makes us a better person because he went through so much and had that resilience. But I don't think I had fully understood that until over a period of time, more and more the depth of his depression and the humor that allowed him to deal with that depression and, and the kind of person he was with other people around him where he would somehow not let resentments from the past fester. You just felt if you could be with him more, you'd be a better person. I truly did. Well, he always he always came across to me and everything that I've read is that he lives in the presence of now and he knows that he can change what is now, but we've all got to come together to make that happen. Wow, that's really true. I think that's absolutely true. And, and that was always the forward movement, somehow, that he had to understand where the country was. That's what a leader has to do. He had to realize that public sentiment had to be shaped. And he one time said, you know, with public sentiment, anything is possible. Without it, nothing is. So that's why those words and the speeches and his actions become so important. But that's how you move the country to where you want it to be rather than where it is. And, boy, we could use that right now. Boy, isn't that the truth? And, boy, the the, the most recent book that you had, Leadership uh, in, in, in Turbulent Times, I mean, that in itself sets us up for where are we going with this and is there another Abraham Lincoln right around the corner? Yeah, I think what I was hoping to do in Leadership in Turbulent Times and what the um, seven-and-a-half-hour miniseries does, too, I was at a college campus, and a student gave a question after I'd been lecturing on Roosevelt and Lincoln, saying, you know, how can I ever become one of them? They're icons already. They're on mountains. They're on Mount Rushmore. Um, I can't identify with them. So that's why I started leadership when they were young, not just a biography of them, but the making of a leader, just to show how when they're young, they'll make mistakes. They'll have too much cockiness, perhaps. um, And then eventually they're going to have failure. And how do they get through it? And that's really what the seven and a half hour thing does, too. It's really the making of Abraham Lincoln so that a young person can see this is how you do it at different steps along the way. And you're going to suffer hurt. You're going to make mistakes. You need to acknowledge them. You're going to have to go through times when you might feel betrayed and you're going to let those resentments fester. You're going to go forward. All of those are human qualities that he somehow had and and how that humor, as I say, was the life affirming thing that carried him through so much sadness. So we watch Abe, you know, at the beginning of the miniseries, it's Abe, it's young Abe. We actually start when he's nine years old and his mother has just died. And then the, the actor who plays the other Abe Um, starts when he's 21 and then becomes him at 56 so it's that same actor and you watch Abe becoming Abraham Lincoln and that's that's the glory of it I think to just watch that transformation from that boy with all sorts of sadness to become the the Lincoln that we know well see and that's what I love about what you're doing with this three night event is the fact that you allow live action to give us a full view of Lincoln this isn't like a documentary where we're just seeing a bunch of old pictures and hearing people talk from or read from letters You, you are physically giving us a place where we can set our emotions inside it and let it grow within us as well. Oh, that's exactly the key of what we were hoping, is that through the live action sequences, then if you want somebody to feel what it is that Abe is feeling or what President Lincoln is feeling, the actors can give that emotion, mm-hmm. and it's not just the experts telling that they're, they're feeling that way, but then you've got the experts there who can really put it into context and make you understand what's happening. So, and, it, and it's really pretty I think wonderfully woven together so that the experts then say something and then the live action scene illustrates it but that allows you to emotionally connect to Lincoln in those really tough times and follow him through his life so that when you come to the end you certainly I hope don't want him to die well, I'm just so glad that you teamed up with History Channel to do this with Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president. You've got to come back to this show anytime in the future, Doris. The door is always going to be open for you. I, know, I would be so glad to. You know, the actor who plays Abraham Lincoln, Graham Sibley, just did a terrific job. I mean, having gone from 21 to 56 
and he's got both the humor and the sadness and the resolution and the resilience. So that's made a huge deal. And then Frederick Douglass is a huge character in it as well. And that's a terrific actor playing him. So I'm really proud of what, what we've all been able to do. It's been a long process, of course, but <laughs> not as long as it takes me to write a book, at least. Ten years to write a book, two years, because this was a team effort to, to get this right. underground. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, you be brilliant today, okay? Thank you, sir. <laughs>